<laughs> there she is. This has to be the craziest quesadilla I've ever seen. It is absolutely enormous. I have 35 minutes to eat this entire thing to win a $1,000. Oh, and don't forget the two sides of consomme as well. Ba 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 Hi, I'm Notorious B.O.B. and this is the Cavalitas Godzilla Challenge. Today I'm at Chabalitas in Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the Godzilla Challenge, which is a massive quesadilla challenge I first saw on Heavy D's YouTube channel. This is crazy. Look how big this quesadilla is, and there is so much going on to this. I'm going to show you the entire making of this. Now, when I saw it on Heavy D's channel, his weighed 8 pounds, 13 ounces. It's supposed to be a 9 pound quesadilla. Which, of course, I have no idea what that looks like. I just see them put layer after layer after layer on this with huge piles of meat. This thing looks delicious. It looks easy to eat, though, because all the meat is already chopped up kind of small. So I don't think it's going to be a lot of chewing. It's just going to be a lot of delicious food. All these layers added up to a mountain-sized quesadilla that came in right on 9 pounds. Sure, we're already at nine pounds, but why not add some more toppings, a whole avocado, a bunch of lettuce, a bunch of other toppings. Just make this thing a huge party. Let's weigh this again. Whoops. Now we're up to a solid 10 pounds of food. Plus I have to eat two things of consomme. Hi, I'm so excited to be here because this is a first time collab with a channel, a guy named Eli. I love meat to better meters. This guy's been tearing it up. I don't know, he's already probably has more challenges that made he's done a ton of challenges. So we're here at Chapalitas trying their massive quesadilla yeah. challenge. It is huge. We have 35 minutes to do this. It's a very, very hard challenge. Only three people have won so far. Looking forward to getting started. Make sure you check out his channel. I'll link him in the description below. Okay, we're ready, yeah. All right, in three, two, and one, go. All right, here we go. Welcome to another video. This is the first of a five-part series of As Seen on Heavy D Las Vegas. Now, Heavy D is another competitive eater. I'm going to five of the challenges he did in the Las Vegas area and seeing if I can complete them this weekend. I'm going to try to do all five within 28 hours. So right now, it's Saturday at 2.30 in the afternoon, and this is my first stop. Only one of these five challenges has a cash prize. That's why I stopped here first. Just in case I lose today, I can come back and try it again. And yes, I did just drink some of that consomme. I'm afraid if I dunk my quesadilla in it, it's going to make a huge mess. So I'll probably just try it. Mm -hmm. This quesadilla is still very warm. Before I forget, I want to give a special thanks to Brandon to go Garbage Disposal Clark for doing all this fancy camera work that you don't normally find in one of my videos. I'm going to try to eat this quesadilla as neatly as possible. I'm not going to tear it apart or do anything. I'm just going to try to pick it up and eat it just as it's presented. One, because I find it more enjoyable that way. And second, it's a lot more of a challenge. So if they give it to me that way, that's how I'm going to eat it. So far, I'm really surprised how well it's sticking together. I think it might be good enough for me to try the consomme. Let me do a quick dunk here. Yes, it held together, and that consomme is actually very flavorful. I can't think of another time I've had that before, but it's pretty good, to be honest with you. When I do these challenges, I like to try to get off to a good start. Uh, not so much to race it, but just so I put myself in a good position where I can finish comfortably in case something happens later. So far, so good. Look at this fancy overhead shot. I could never do this if I was just using my own tripods. Thank you very much, Brandon, once again. I feel like I'm a big time YouTuber or something. But right now, we're just kind of in the ground and pound stage of the challenge. Uh, the food luckily tastes fantastic. I would love to go back and have a normal quesadilla where I could uh, sit there and enjoy it. But that's not the case today. I'm gonna have to just keep biting, chewing, swallow, bite, chew, swallow over and over. What, what is this creation? Uh, so it's a, basically a five layer quesadilla. We have a steak, birria, grilled chicken, um, alabada, and another portion of pork, which is carnitas. We also have sour cream, pico de gallo lettuce, uh, a whole avocado, and cotija cheese on top. And we also have uh, two sides of uh, birria broth, which is called contourne. And it should weigh uh, around nine pounds. 
the heat from the sandwich has made my nose run. My nose was definitely running. Whenever I eat hot food in this type of volume, it always runs. So it just, I've kind of learned to deal with it uh, years of doing this. A bit of advice for my 20 plus years of doing this. If you're going to attempt an eating challenge, always go to YouTube first and see if someone posted a video already of that challenge. You can learn what to do and what not to do, what tips worked, what didn't. Uh, of course, there's the general tips. Don't drink too much when you're eating, that type of stuff. But for this, this particular quesadilla, it might be advantageous to eat it like I'm eating it, like a pizza slice, or it might be better to separate it. Now, you might not be able to tell what necessarily to do from watching me eat right now, but you will be able to learn, oh, I don't want to do that, or I do want to do this. I did not do a good job cutting my slices. A couple of these are like monster size yeah. slices. I'm halfway done at this point, but I've only used nine minutes, so I have plenty of time left. I quickly calculate, if I just put it into kind of like a cruise control from here on out, I should be able to finish this thing. Little did I know this next slice was going to be massive, and it takes me almost another nine minutes just to eat the next slice. Man, I've finally done that slice. It was like, a, I don't know, it's like double size. I cut it so wrong. And I noticed that the different sections are like super thick. I had so much meat in that section. Yeah, I'm not wearing out so well. I'm going to keep pushing, but odds are against me. Up until this point, I didn't realize that Eli was starting to struggle. He's eaten quite a bit of quesadilla, so it looks good as far as quantity wise, but this thing is so chewy and thick. I understand why he's having issues. Yeah, it's pretty good. Got another hour left, right? Like about 15, 30. When I heard him say 15 and a half minutes, I thought that's how much time we had used so far, as opposed to how much time we had left. So I know I have a full weekend of challenges ahead of me. There's no sense using my jaw up on this challenge. I'm just gonna put it into a nice easy cruise and finish this one with still a lot of time left on the clock. What surprised me is even though it's all chopped up, there's still a lot of chewing. I don't think there'd be nearly as much chewing at all. a lot. Eli had just told me how much time we had actually used in this challenge, which was four more minutes than I thought we did. So I went from having a ton of time left to a lot less time. I'm starting to really regret accepting an extra pound in this quesadilla, because this is starting to really work my jaw. I just want to see if I can get through this slice. I'll only have one slice left, plus all the toppings, which is quite a lot of toppings, a whole avocado, and a bunch of other items. But that's soft, so I'll save those to the end because I know they'll go down without any issues. Last slice, let's go. I can't forget about this consomme over here either. That's 16 ounces of very flavorful liquid that I'm going to have to address at some point. At this point, I was, let's just say I was not in my happy place. I am a guy that loves food. I love to eat. And you can tell by me eating neatly. But this is just way, way harder than I thought it was going to be and a very rough start to this road trip. I now understand how the restaurants are able to offer a $1,000 reward for anyone that can finish this in 35 minutes. It's because it is a very tough challenge to do. It is possible. So it's close enough where people are tempted by it to spend the $65 to try. 
but far enough away, the vast majority will lose, which I understand is a couple hundred people up to this point. At this point, I've eaten more than one challenge worth of food. I've eaten the two consommes and well over nine pounds of quesadilla. These are the toppings they offered to take off before the challenge started, but I was so sure of my eating ability, I said, nope, I'll eat an extra pound. What's the big deal? And now I'm finally addressing that bonus food. A quick tip for any aspiring competitive eater out there, if a restaurant ever gives you too much food, and they offer to take it down to make the challenge the proper way, accept their offer. Do not be an idiot like I was in this video, because it makes it a lot harder yourself. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was 40 seconds, 30 seconds to spare. Ow. That's good. good. It was good. <laughs> Pretty awesome. You did great. I mean, it is very deceptively Chewy. Yes. I saw you guys making it and I thought, oh, that's gonna I not go do. down. It's just like a the same thing. I thought it was the cheese. The meat gets stuck with the cheese. Yeah, letting it And then you too have much. to chew yeah. through the meat again, even though it's can sell it's finely cut meat. When I saw it, I was like, easy, I got this thing done. <laughs> that, no yeah, no problem. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, it's not. This is not an easy challenge. I really thought it was gonna be a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. most that's what I heard. That was the chapelita. Godzilla challenge. I can finally say that now. That is a tough challenge. Um, it, it, it was tough. Put it that way. Food tasted good, but it was a real challenge in every aspect of the word. I want to thank Eli for coming out and filming with me. And uh, you did a great job today. This is a this is this is a very tough challenge. But please check out his channel. He has over seventy two wins right now. That's a lot of different restaurant wins. Check him out. Give him a follow. Thanks for coming to another video, and I'll see you guys again soon.